this being the final show of 2017, I have got myself a guest in studio. So, um, Xenia, did I say that right? Yes. There you go. I, uh, I, you know, I always tell on myself, right? So I mispronounced her name, and she was just like Xenia. <laughs> <laughs> That took me aback. <laughs> Y'all know I'm really friendly, right? Just made a mistake. But anyway, uh, thank you for coming. Thank you for all having me. All right, let's talk about your musical journey, if we will. Um, well, that actually didn't start till my last year of high school. Mm -hmm. And um, all throughout, I had wanted to study law. And when we were applying, I was just like, you know, let me just drop everything. And I applied to Berkeley and to Columbia College Chicago for music. And I got into both, and then I ended up at Berkeley, and now I have one more semester, and I graduate in May. What do you graduate in? Uh, I'm a music business major. Okay. I also started songwriting, and um, I'm trying to get into production as well. All right, so you're doing, I, I would say, the theory, the theoretical part of it in terms of the music business, because... Um, the reason I say this is, and it's actually great that, you know, you have that background, so maybe you can answer this. We see a lot of artists who <clears throat> have the talent, but don't necessarily understand the business. Is that what you learn when you're in music business as, as a major? Yeah, that's why I went into it, because I had always wanted to manage myself, because I had just seen so many problems with people signed to labels and stuff so I wanted to be able to manage myself and manage other people so like we do accounting um, marketing um, website development like all around all right you said marketing and I think that gets to my next point I'm sorry I'm asking you all these questions you're you're in school for this so maybe <laughs> you could tell other people who are gonna watch who are gonna be watching this video um, a lot of you know we, we see musicians or artists use controversy to sell um i mean i feel second third and fourth hand embarrassment <laughs> collectively when i see some of the stuff that they they do to drum up interest in themselves i mean you know putting out their personal lives out there and just i guess i don't know it looks really embarrassing but then i guess there's you know it's a means to an end what is your view on this in, in light of what it is you're studying? And I think it would be really Im important to hear even. Um, well, I'm yet to do the marketing side. That's everything I'm going to do in this last semester. But um, since I've started putting my own music out, what I've learned from the people around me that are in the same major is that I should always be myself. But um, there's better ways to market yourself because if people are going to like what you do they're gonna like it no matter what happens so you don't have to do too much to have people listen to it because if it's just good people will just listen but you can focus on um, branding yourself well like now people are very focused on social media yeah so if you have like a good-looking Instagram page or Facebook people want to ha um, look you up and find you like if they look me up, they want to search on Google Zinia Manase and like have everything come up, SoundCloud, Instagram, or just right. have a website. Um, but yeah, those so, are the basics. So you don't need, you. I mean, if you're good, you don't need gimmicks. Oh, she's just like, <laughs> I don't know why, <laughs> I don't know why you're using all them gimmicks for. If you're good, you're good. All right. How important is it for a true musician to play an instrument? Whew. I didn't realize how important it was until I got to school and was surrounded by people who like carry their instruments around every day and um, once you start taking theory classes and they're oops teaching you um, about what works where like modes scales and everything and then you start to apply it for everybody on their instrument it just opens up your ears to like so many things so now the way you listen to music and the way you hear music becomes so different and you'll be like sitting with your friends when you come back home and you're listening to a song and you hear something like a chord that maybe you talked about in class and you're like oh my god and nobody else knows what you're talking about it's just I don't know it feels like magic <laughs> <laughs> now a lot of um, obviously a, a, a more more musicians than than not are not going to be able to get into Berkeley or into music school and they have you know are self-taught and and all of that what do you what do you have to say to them for example the thing with Berkeley as well is that a lot of the people that 
can get in a lot of people are like yeah i learned on youtube and then i just used to practice every day but um at least i know a, a good number of the kenyans that were at berkeley with me did music education as their major so that they can come back here and teach and i know people that want to open school so that they can bridge the gap um, one of my like long, long, long-term goals is to be able to start a scholarship fund wow. that'll allow um, Kenyans to come and study at Berkeley if they wanted to. But that's if everything goes well. But I just like I've been trying to bridge the gap. I I I absolutely love the fact that you're giving back. I'm such a person who loves people who give back. So that's amazing. I really like to hear that. If you've just tuned in, her name is. Xenia Manasseh, you can find her Xenia K. Manasseh on Facebook. She is, she's after my own heart. You don't need controversy to sell your music. Just sell, just, just, just do what you do. Play your instrument, do your music. Here we go. Just got broken, broken into two. Still, I call it magic when I'm next to you. Oh, and I don't, and I don't, and I don't, and I don't. No, I don't, it's true, I don't, no, I don't, no, I don't, no, I don't Want anybody else but you I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't No, I don't, it's true, I don't Want anybody else but you Ooh. I call it man Cuss me into two And with all your magic I disappear from view And I can't get over Can't get over you Still I call in magic When I'm with you I, And I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't No I don't, it's true I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't Want anybody else but you I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't no, I don't, it's true, I don't, no, I don't, no, I don't, no, I don't Want anybody else but you I wanna fall, fall so hard I wanna fall, I fall so hard And I call it Wow. Call it true. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just got really excited. <laughs> I call it magic. Oh, I, yes, I do. That's the right time to applause. Absolutely great. My news reader. So she was not. She didn't struggle. That's what I mean. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, it, it just came out. It's not. And when it's natural, you don't need to force anything. You just need to, like she said, just just, yeah. just do it. It will sell. Absolutely. I, I feel very privileged to have met you at this point because I feel you're going to go really, really far in terms of your your craft. I mean it. Um, Tom will tell you I don't usually say things I don't mean in the studio, and anyone here will tell you that. I just feel really privileged to have met you right now. I think you're going extremely far. I think you've got the great attitude, too. 
just keep doing what you do. Um, your talent definitely sells itself. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm praying. And please call her Xenia, not Xenia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was my lesson of the day.